They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Take your hand, my dear, and place them both in mine. You know you stopped me dead while I was passing by. The bus you took from the province just arrived. You get your belongings and get off the bus. As you see your mom waving her hands to you, you smile and run to her. She touches your face and hugs you. Thank God you're safe, she said. I miss you, mom, you replied. Me too, she added. Your mom is Jungkook's nanny since he was a child until he grew up. Your mom left her work to them when she got married, but your dad died when you were 7 years old, so she went back to work for her boss to raise you, while you left behind with your grandmother who took care of you. But she passed away, and you didn't have anyone else with you, so your mom asked her boss if you could stay at her. And your mom's boss agree since they consider your mom as a family because she worked for them for a long time. Jungkook woke up because he heard a woman's laugh. The voice was not familiar to him, so he wondered who it was. He got up and peeked at the balcony until he saw you playing with Bum. You had just finished watering the plant when Bam approached you and he wants to play with you. You are studying in the last year of your college at the new university since you transferred. Although you are not their maid, you are ashamed of course, so you help with the housework. You watering the plant before you go to the university. Jungkook got starstruck. He couldn't really say a word. He just look at you, watching your every smile, your every move. Jungkook, are you awake? His mom asked, well, knocking the door. Jungkook quickly opened the door. Yes, mom, he said. Breakfast is ready. Let's eat together, his mom said. Come in, he added. His mom left and went downstairs. He go back to the balcony, but he disappeared. He just only see his dog playing alone. Who are you? While eating breakfast, Jungkook looked around looking for you, but he can't find you since you are getting ready going to the university. Mom, do we have new mates? No, we already have four mates. Then who is she? Don't tell me I'm hallucinating. Jungkook used to come home late because he was really focused on their business. His mom scolded him several times to come home early, but still he chose to stay at work. When Jungkook came home, you already asleep so you didn't see each other. Again, Jungkook woke up because of your laugh. He quickly went to the balcony and saw you playing with Pam. I smile crept on his face while watching you. Jungkook suddenly felt the indescribable feelings. He was happy and felt butterflies when he saw you, especially when you are smiling. He was about to call you but his brother came in. Can I come to your office later? I have something to discuss with you about the new project of my company. His brother Namjoon said. Sure, Yung, Jungkook answered. Okay, thank you, Namjoon said and go out of the room. He looked to the garden again where you are, but when he looks you, you are not there anymore. He gets out of his room and calls Namjoon. Yung, I think I'm hallucinating. I see a beautiful girl playing with Bam for how many days, but she suddenly disappears. Do you think I'm crazy? Maybe you are talking to YN. She is Auntie Flor's daughter. She is living with us since last week. Nani's daughter? Oh, I'm 
sure mom forget to tell you because you always come home late. So, I'm not hallucinating. That girl is real and her name was YN. Yes, why? Nothing, Jungkook said and smiled widely. While well, having breakfast, Jungkook is restless. He wants to see you, but you're not there. I'm thirsty, he said. The maid served him a water, but Jungkook refused it. He stands and goes to the kitchen, hoping to see you, but still, you weren't there. Until your mom came. Jungkook, why are you here in the kitchen? Do you want anything? Nana, I heard your daughter is leaving with us. He asked. Oh, I have to take her because she doesn't have anyone in the province. I'm afraid something bad will happen to her. You did the right thing, Nana. But where is she? She's already go to the university. Why? Nothing. Jungkook arrived at 10 p.m. when he saw a girl walking to the library until he realized it was you. His mom told you that you can use the library to study because the maid's quarter is crowded so you can study properly. You waited for them to enter the room before you went to the library because you were shy. You came in and started studying, but the light you used was the light from the phone because you were embarrassed and afraid that they might scold you or tell you that you're wasting electricity. When someone entered the room and turned on the lights, that makes you startled. Why is the light off? As I see you're studying, it might damage your eyes. You look at him and speak. I'm sorry, Sir Jungkook. You know me? Yes, sir. My mom told me about you. Ah, uh, next time if you want to study, open the lights, okay? Yes, sir. Just continue what you're doing. Don't mind me, Jungkook said and got inside the library as he pretended that he was looking for some books. But the truth is, he was just secretly looking at you. He took some books and sat in front of you. What is your name? Why answer? I heard you are in your last year of college. What course did you take? Engineering, sir. Wear same course when I'm in college. If you want help, just ask me. I can help you with that. Thank you, sir. Jungkook mom noticed him that he was in Harry to me. Jungkook, aren't you going to eat breakfast? His mom asked. At the office, mom, I had an early meeting today, he said, and get inside his car. Meanwhile, you are walking to the bus stop when suddenly a car stopped in front of you. Going to the university? Jungkook asked while looking out the window of his car. Morning, sir. Yes, sir. Then get in. I said you there. I'm fine, sir. The bus stop is nearby. He gets out of his car and holds your elbow as he pulled you going to his car. He opened the door and made you sit in front beside the driver's seat. Just get in, he said and gave you a sweet smile. Thank you, sir. No problem. You're about to get out when... What time are you going home later? He asked. 5.30, sir. Your reply. Okay, then wait for me. I'm going to pick you up later. He said. Since then, you two became close. His family noticed your closeness, but they just ignored it since Jungkook family treats you as your family. 
He always accompanies you to the library. Sometimes Jungkook teaches you. And often, they always saw you laughing. If before Jungkook always come home late, now he always comes home early because he always picks you up from the university. And that makes his mom happy. At least, she could spend time with her youngest son. Six months later. You are looking for Jungkook but you can't find him. So, you just go to the library but you are surprised to see him there doing something. You were here earlier? A while ago. I knew you were going to be here so I waited for you. How did you know that I'm going here? Instinct? What are you doing? Paperwork? You? I need to review. My exams are coming. You can do it. Just trust yourself. Ask me if you need my help. Hmm. Thank you. After two hours, you notice that Jungo was quiet. And when you look at him, you saw him sleeping on the table. You stop on what you are doing. You rest your head on the table, facing at him, as you stare at his face. Since I was young, I have been contented with my life. I didn't wish for anything that my mom couldn't give me. But now, I wish... I was rich, so I could tell you my feelings. I know we're just friends, so I decided to forget my feelings for you. I'm not sure when I'll forget it, but I try. Until Jungkook suddenly opened his eyes and caught you staring at him. You quickly looked down, but it's too late. Why are you staring at me? Me? I'm not staring at you. But I caught you. Promise, I'm not staring at you. You said and moved your chair, but you were out of balance and about to fall. Good thing Junko caught your waist, and now you two are facing each other. I can't hide it anymore. I am happy when I'm with you. Why am I love you? You love me? But why? Do I need the reason to like you? You stand and remove his hand from your waist and move backwards. I'm sorry, but I can't accept your love. I'm not like you, sir. There is a big difference between us. You are rich while I'm just poor. What if your mom finds out? I don't want them to be angry with me since they treat me so well. So, what about now? If I'm rich, in God's eyes, we're equal. I can fight for you. I don't want you and your parents to fight because of me. I grew up without a father and my mother is always gone. I don't want you to experience this. Sorry sir, please forget your feelings for me. I'm sorry. You said and get out of the library, leaving Jungkook alone. The next day, you start avoiding him. You don't go to the library anymore. You just study there in your mom's maid's quarter. If you used to go to school at 7, now you go to school at 6.30 so you can avoid Jungkook. Three days later, you woke up late so you hurriedly got ready to go to the university. You were walking to the bus station when you turned your back and saw Jungkook's car coming. You smiled but his car was just straight to the road and he just passed you. That time, you felt you are hurt and the reality hit you 
that Jungkook has already done what you told him and you realize that you are hurting. And from that onwards, Jungkook also avoiding you. One night, Jungkook came drunk. Your mom guided him to his room and when Jungkook's mom found out about it, she quickly went to his room. What happened to you? Why are you drunk? Do you have a problem? Mom, mom, I'm hurting. I'm in pain. But why? Did someone hurt you? Oh, she's bad. I like her, mom. The day I saw her, I really like her. But she can't accept me because I'm rich and she was poor. She was afraid that you can't accept her. Wait, are you referring to YN? I like her, mom. No, I love her. So I'm right that you like her. She didn't like you? I don't know. But I can feel it. She also liked me. But she can't accept me because we live in different worlds. Jungkook is drunk. What? What really happened to him? He's not like that. This lately I notice him always lonely. You two are close. Do you have any idea why he became like that? Mom. Why? Can I move even if it's small apartment or even a bed space? I'll do a part-time job to help you pay. Why? Are you not comfortable here? I'm so sorry, mom. I feel in love with Jungkook. What? I'm sorry, mom. I rejected his love because I know we can't be together. We have different worlds. But mom, I like him. Your mom cried while looking at you. She hugged you because she can see that you are hurting. Your mom is about to speak but Jungkook mom came and asked if she can talk to you. You felt nervous and scared because she might already know the truth and fire your mom from her job and kick you out. Did I hear right? You like my son? You look at your mom and look at her and nod. I'm sorry, mom. I'm very sorry. Why are you sorry for me? If you like Jungkook, then tell him. Yes, I'm rich, but I know how to respect my son's feelings. You are the girl he likes, then I also like you. Besides, I already like you since you are little when your mom used to bring you here before. I don't care if you are poor, as long as you are a decent and good person, and as long as you love my son. It's not because you are poor you have no rights to love. Go to him. He needs you. You knock on the door but no one answer, but his mom push you to get inside as you saw him laying in the bed. Are you okay? You ask while standing beside his bed. Jungkook turned around and saw you. He quickly sat on his bed and asked, Why are you here? I'm here because I want to tell you something. What is it? That... I like you too, and your mom told me that I can love you. 
junk of ice by then and reply really but it's too late YN I already moved on from you I don't like you anymore what oh sorry if I disturb you I need to go you said and quickly walk going to the door while well, your tears dripping because of the pain that you felt it's too late but you can't blame him because you yourself push him away from you you held the doorknob and about to open it when jungkook suddenly hugged you from behind sorry i'm just kidding does it hurt when the person you love pushes you don't do that again huh you turned around and hugged him i'm sorry if i push you away you said it's okay so we are officially dating now as you nod while sobbing your head on his chest after four months you graduated and in one take you passed an engineering license exam and became an engineer you want to rent a house so your mom can stop working with jungkook's family and so she can't rest but your mom doesn't want to because your mom considered them as a family to become a legal family jungkook proposed to you and you answer him as yes and after one month you two got married the end thank you for watching kubis good night